Now in question 10 part D we are asked to find the area of the triangle PQR. I'll just draw that in across there. Okay. Now in part C we found out that the coordinates of P was 0, 1. So that coordinate there is 0, 1. And in order to find the area of this right angle triangle, all I need to do is multiply this side by PQ and divide by 2. Base times height over 2. I already know the length of QR, 3 root 5. All I need to do then is to find out the length of PQ. And that's quite easy by just doing Pythagoras again. Okay, so we'll start there by getting the length of PQ. PQ squared, in other words, is equal to the sum of the squares of the difference in the x coordinates and y coordinates. So we would have the difference in the x coordinates, okay, if I had a little triangle like this going through here, that length there would be 1 take away 0, so that'd be one unit long there, so that'd be 1 squared plus the difference in the y coordinates which would be representative of that height there so that would be 3 take away 1 that's 2 units and we would square that. Working that out we have 1 plus 4 which is 5 so PQ squared is 5 so therefore the length of PQ must be the square root of 5. So we now have the two lengths QR is 3 root 5 and PQ, we'll just put it in there, is root 5 units long. So when it comes to working out the area of the triangle, area of triangle PQR, it's going to be equal then the base, 3 root 5, multiplied by the height, root 5, divided by 2. Now 3 root 5 times root 5 is just going to be the same as 3 times 5 because root 5 times root 5 is 5. 3 fives are 15 and so you have 15 over 2. So the area of the triangle is 15 over 2 and I always like to put square units when I'm finding areas and I haven't got things like centimetres or metres, so square units on the end. And that brings us then to the end of part D and also to the end of question 10.